Hey guys, it's Valence, and in today's video, we're going to be following along on a video made by It's Jerian on 10 creative drills to master your mechanics. So in this video, we're going to be starting off with box jumps, then peace control, high ground retakes by Booga, ramp flips, high ground retakes by Kariachi, cone slide, wall re-edit, Teriyachi, Peace Control slash Pressure, Ramp Tarp, and finally Shoot, Re-Edit, Shoot. So I'm going to be practicing each move for an hour and showing the before and after so then you guys can see how much I improved. So we're going to be doing these 10 creative drills to hopefully master our mechanics in Fortnite. So first off, let's start off with the box jump. We're going to start off by putting ourselves in a box and then editing one of the sides and jumping out with a wall and then placing a floor. So after an hour, my building has become a little bit more smoother but, but I could improve on landing it and also possibly adding a roof on top. So that's it for this move and we'll move on to the next. So for peace control, we're going to start off by boxing ourselves and making a few layers. Then we're going to extend out with two floors. Then we're going to put on a cone, edit that and then try and place walls really quick. So the goal is to edit these two and then place two walls right there so we can box our opponent in. So I kind of got it, but then I accidentally placed too many walls on the side, so we're just gonna keep trying until we get it down. Ooh, we finally got it. This move was a little bit harder to master. The trick was to look down while placing the walls, but overall I think I got this one down and I just need a little bit more practice. So next off, we're gonna move on to the high ground retake by Booga. So we're gonna start off by ramping out, then doing a 180, and then putting two cones on top of our enemy's head, and then placing two walls and, and then jumping. But I just keep trapping myself, so we're going to have to work on the cone jump. So I still don't know how to do this full speed. I can't do it while running because placing the cones is a bit difficult and also placing the walls and timing that jump. I could do it once I slow down a bit, but I feel like accuracy is better than speed. So next off on the list, we're going to be trying ramp flips. So this seems pretty simple. You just box yourself up, place a ramp, and then just ramp flip. But so this one's pretty much straightforward. You just keep rotating the ramp. It's not that difficult. It's just muscle memory, and that's pretty much it. Now on to the next one. So next off, we're going to be moving on to high ground retakes. So the move is pretty simple. We're just going to start off with a ramp, a cone, one wall, and a wall to the side. Then we're just going to build off of it and get the high ground. So after an hour, it's still hard to time it, but I think I got it way better than before. So before I can even time it properly and place down each item, but after a bit of practice, I think I'm slowly getting it. So now on to the next one. So now let's move on to cone slides. So for this move, we're going to place down a wall, then edit it and try and place the cone as fast as we can. So 
So after an hour, it still hasn't changed that much. I'm still placing the cone, but it might be just a little bit faster than before. So the more you do it, the faster you'll get. So I just need to run this a few times in creative and I should be good to go. So to do the wall re-edit move, what we're gonna do is place a ramp, put a cone, edit this cone, then cone it again, place a floor, place our walls, edit this out, I'm starting to get the hang of it where we put the cone, edit it, put another cone on top, put the floors, and then just edit out of it, then re-edit the wall, and then boom. So after an hour, this one is still a bit challenging. I started to get used to placing the second cone, but I just need to practice jumping right after doing that and then placing the two walls and editing as quick as possible, then resetting and pumping the enemy. This one's one of my favorite moves and I really want to master it. So now we're gonna move on to the peace control pressure move. First, we're gonna place off a wall and a wall on top. And while we do that, we're gonna place a ramp and then edit this wall and place a cone and a floor. So it's gonna look something like this. So unfortunately, I don't have a lot of footage for this one after an hour, but I still struggle to edit it once I place the ramp down. So this one still needs a little bit of work. So we're gonna move on to the second last move, which is the ramp tarp. So to do this, we're gonna place a floor, a wall and a ramp. This one's still kind of hard for me to pull off. So after an hour, this one finally kicked in and it started being a little bit easier but I think I'm just W keying too much to the side, so I'm just rotating my character too much. So for the shoot, re-edit, shoot move, what we're gonna have to do is edit the wall, shoot, and then re-edit it back. So you guys might've practiced this in editing courses. So basically all you have to do is keep control of the wall, edit it, shoot your opponent, and then re-edit it back. So after an hour, this one is still kind of the same. You just need to edit, shoot, reset your edit. This one is still kind of muscle memory. So you just need to be quick at editing, then resetting your edit and making sure you then making sure you have good crosshair placement so then you guys can get your enemy. Those are the 10 different moves I learned from Jerrion's video. I'm gonna be sure to practice them every time I go on creative. And in addition to that, I'm also gonna be practicing my editing and building skills in a creative map. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video of me learning new moves from Jerrion's video. And if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new. And if you guys want to stay up to date with my progress on Fortnite, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on that bell icon so you guys never miss a video. And with that said, thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.